Hola. Hello, Richard. Hi, Kerr. Hello, Joshua. How is it to be back in a rehearsal room? Well, Josh, it's so uh, wonderful to be back with people. It's just incredible. Thrilled uh, that something that we have uh, created uh, with our friends. Thank you. To, to be in a devising process where you're improvising, a few lines come out of it, and then you start to build a scene. Uh, actually being able to sort of strut around and feel a bit more physicality of the character. Revisiting my version of William the Conqueror as a kind of happy-go-lucky gangster. We're giving ourselves days to explore the characters and to, to, to feel space between them, let them expand, let them fill the room. And it's strange in a way to get back to doing what I love doing uh, after a year out for Covid, but uh, of course the revelation that uh, we can do it now is such a wonderful thing. Hello everyone, it's uh, Joshua here. Uh, you may recognise me from Monarchs Anonymous as Prince Albert, or perhaps as David, uh, Edward VIII. I am one of the creators of Monarchs Anonymous, along with the brilliant Nadia Devereaux. Hello, Joshua. We've got some really exciting news to share with you today. If you are a fan of Dr. Katz Reading the Past channel, you may already uh, know this news from her most recent video. But before I share it, if you are new to this channel, I would suggest going back and watching series one of Monarchs Anonymous. And once you've done that, watch series two of Monarchs Anonymous and then I will share the news for you. I'll wait. So, on to the news. A few months ago, we began a collaboration with Keridwen Theatre Company to turn Monarchs Anonymous into a live theatre show. So, Keridwen Theatre Company, with all their brilliant expertise, uh, for those of you who don't know, Keridwen are a theatre company based in North Wales that specialise in historical theatre. They've done plays about Richard III and about the First World War to uh, great accolade. So they put uh, an application forward to the Arts Council, uh, which is a body that provides funding for arts projects around England. And as you've probably guessed a few months ago, we received an email from Arts Council England telling us that we had been awarded funding to do just that. Now, what the funding was for was not to produce a show, but to investigate how we would take the online Zoom YouTube version to a theatre version that's live. So we have brought together over two separate sets of rehearsals with two separate casts, a load of creatives associated with Monarchs Anonymous. So Keridwen brought two brilliant directors as well as some consultants to see if it's viable for the stage, as well as Nadia and myself as uh, writers on the project, writing scripts and editing scripts based on improvisations that the cast of brilliant actors have been doing. So we have uh, faces that you definitely recognise from both series of Monarchs Anonymous. We also had our brilliant cartoonist zoomed in live from across the waves to do some cartoons for us, as well as the brilliant Richard de Winter, who plays Philip II of Spain, writing us a brand new piece of music. So rehearsals took place in the East End of London in a place called Brick Lane, which has got a famous history of itself. The rehearsal room we used was called the Rag Factory and as you can see we had loads of fun. Uh, we did games and improvisations to try and work out how these characters would react with each other in the space that they were in, in this therapy room. So we had four monarchs as well as Dr. Cat in each stage of the rehearsals. In the first stage we had Henry VIII, Edward VIII, Empress Matilda and William the Conqueror. And in the second stage, we had Edward VII, Queen Victoria, Mary Antoinette and Philip II of Spain. So we put these monarchs in a room together. We had a loose outline of a script that we used, but most of the time we looked at different uh, improvisations and games to try and work out how these characters would work together. So what happens now? Well, 
we're going to take all the research and development that we have discovered during the last few weeks and try and bring it to a theatre near you. But to do that, we need funding. Now, I know many of you have already generously donated to the GoFundMe page for the online series of Monarchs Anonymous, but we have just opened a brand new GoFundMe, looking for a bit more money to bring this brilliant online sitcom to the stage. And so if you can, please donate to the new GoFundMe page, which you'll find in the description box below. All that needs to be said now is thank you so much for watching Monarchs Anonymous over the last year or so. Uh, the two series, as well as our bonus episodes, our behind the scenes episodes, and also for all those people who donated to the GoFundMe page. Thank you so much, we are so grateful. Thanks again, and I'll see you on another episode of Monarchs Anonymous. Thanks very much.